Firstly, I would like to thank the opportunity to present my work entitled Using Flipped Classroom at the University to Improve the Chemistry Learning. I work as a chemistry lecturer at Malaga University. I teach in, in different degrees, but the data for this article is from the engineer degree student. The main problem that uh, lecturers find at the university is the lack of interest in this subject, uh, especially if the students are from engineering. This lack of interest makes difficult a significant learning chemistry and as a consequence of poor retention and understanding. <coughs> this problem has been called chemophobia. There are several causes, but the main are the poor training in this attitude in the secondary school and the manner in which in the content are taught. Furthermore, chemistry, as everybody knows, chemistry is not an easy discipline because it goes between microscopic <coughs> level to a microscopic level and in a new symbolic uh, perspective. And what is more, the public image of the chemistry is mostly negative. Chemistry is related with pollution, poison, with witches, wizards, and so on. So, every year, the first day of my classes, I find the same problem. My student, the mechanical engineer degree student, think that this subject should not be appear in the problems because it will not be useful for the professional career or their academic degree. And this is the reason why lecture has to make understand that chemistry, chemistry is necessary for everyday life, for professional and academic future. And we need to make understand or to make easy uh, learn chemistry, changing the methodology, making more attractive this chemistry. I use different techniques. I use simulator in order to help a student to know what is happening in a microscopic level. I use Flickr, uh, quick online exams that may a student know how much they are understanding about the subject. I use MOOC, massive open online course. In this case, we use formulation and how to name the chemical compounds. We use flipped classroom, but development <coughs> by a student. As you know, or everybody know, a flipped classroom involves lecture material outside the classroom in order to have more time to uh, make the classes more interactive or engaged. The different, <coughs> in my case, uh, my class, different group of a student uh, did different videos and under seven minutes and these videos were uh, located on YouTube about different topics. The atomic theory, the periodic table, different kinds of chemical bonds and so on. And finally we did a, a escape room. It is a very current concept in education based on the development of a mental skill for solution of enigmas and problems. And in this case, we did a zombie attack. We can see different pictures of the experience. Uh, the student had to do word search, crosswords. They had to solve riddles in order to know how to do a result. <coughs> They, do, they did lab uh, practice and finally they opened the shed where the antidote was located. The data for this article was obtained uh, in the course 2017-2018. Uh, um, the sample is uh, only 17 volunteer students who uh, did or answered a questionnaire about the utility of the different techniques used during the, the subject. And the more relevant uh, information is shown here. For example, they think they are very satisfied, morally satisfied with the use of flipless classroom. 
they think that this methodology is useful for them. Uh, 12 of all 17 said that the depth of these videos are good enough. And finally, they recommended this uh, methodology. To conclude, uh, I would like to say that students reported use uh, this triple plan multiple times, not only for class preparation, for example, they use it for test preparation, homework, and so on. The mark of this student were two points <coughs> uh, higher than the other class, where no, uh, this kind of methodology uh, was not used. Um, the vast majority of the students said that it's very useful for them, this kind of videos. Uh, finally, I think I will continue to do using this uh, prepared classroom, escape room, and uh, other methodology this year. Um, finally, I would like to thank the University of Malaga uh, for allowing us to develop this project, to be here, and for their financial support. <laughs>